You know, the Guthrie Center has such a musical history, and I just couldn't let us get out of here without taking a look around. So let's go. Arlo Guthrie founded the Guthrie Center in 1991. And rather than just have it be another place where people could come and jam, he really wanted to focus on the mission of the Guthrie Center. So here to tell us a little bit more about that is George Lay. George Lay of the Guthrie Center. How's hey, it going? Dan. Good. Good. Nice good. to meet you. Good to meet you. So can you tell us a little bit more about what you do here? Sure. Well, first, welcome. And uh, thank well, you. It's like to have new folks. Are you a member? No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take care of that right after the interview. Right, do my wallet here. <laughs> Well, we, uh, Arlo founded the church in 1991 and we bought the church with the uh, help of a bunch of fans and friends and supporters. Uh, some people chipped in five bucks, whatever they could. Mm -hmm. And uh, here we are with a mortgage and we're <laughs> real happy about it. Uh, we do wonderful things here. We have free community lunches once a week mm -hmm. and the whole place is run by volunteers. That's the core of the whole Guthrie mm -hmm. Center. We have um, youth programs here. We have children's shows, we have a troubadour series. And when Arlo plays in May, he's here on a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And on the last uh, day of Arlo's shows, on Sunday morning, everyone meets here at the church at 8.30. And we go on what we call the garbage trail walk. Mm -hmm. I've heard about that. And it's really fun, Arlo goes, we all go. And we take litter bags this time. Uh -huh. We walk six and a half miles, so we go from the church to the site where he dumped the garbage. Mm -hmm. and there's folks dressed in <laughs> trash bags, playing guitars, and it's just a really fun day. And from the uh, dump site, we go to the Stockbridge Police Station, and they love us these days. And they bring out a jail cell door, and you get your picture taken with Arlo behind the bars, and silly <laughs> fun stuff like nice. that. And from there, we go on to the old uh, Alice's Restaurant, which mm -hmm. is now Teresa's Stockbridge Cafe. Mm -hmm. And then a bunch of folks donate their VW microbuses and they shuttle everybody back to the church and everybody just has an afternoon of relaxing and fun and then waiting for Arlo's final show that night. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about the concert series that you have here throughout the summer? Yeah, then after Arlo finishes up in early May, we uh, start our Troubadour series and we have top national acts every weekend. Folks that would normally wouldn't play a, a 100 seat venue right. because they don't need to mm -hmm. but they do here because they care about what we're doing and they're here to support us we also have a thing if i could tell you about it we have a youth program here where i find talented young people in the area or from wherever i can find them we, and then we let them open for our national acts what would you say the um the theme is what i'm getting at is this sign that we have up here the dedication of the guthrie center <clears throat> Uh, I know a little bit about it, but if you could tell well, our viewers all about it, I'd appreciate I, I, it. It, it kind of you know, speaks for itself. Uh, Ma, when she dedicated the church back in 91, uh, that's her words. And, and mm -hmm. like I say, one God, many forms, one river, many streams, one people, many faces, one mother, many children. Uh, there's nothing I could say to make that better. So to you, what's the Guthrie Center all about? There's a certain spirit about this church, and I thought it was just me, but every time I take a, folks through on a tour, or people just stop in to say hi or something, they always, always comment. They say, there's a wonderful spirit about this place. And I found that to be so true, and, and it just kind of emanates from the whole center, and it goes out hopefully to the community and the world, because we feel very good about that and very proud, but everyone recognizes it, and that makes me feel like at least I'm doing my part, if I can be a part of that, to help that spirit be here. Well, George, thanks for your time. I really appreciate you oh, showing us around. My and, pleasure. Uh, my giving pleasure. us access here. It's really quite a treat. Well, it's Thanks our a lot. pleasure. And remember the membership form is oh, over yeah. on the counter. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Workshop Live TV. You may be able to hear the train outside. Believe it or not, we are just half a mile from the railroad track.
Thanks a lot, George, and the Guthrie Center for showing us around. George is right, you know, this place does have its own special spirit. It just kind of makes you want to play. We'll see you next time on Workshop Live TV.